Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah Blackwell and today I'm going to be sharing with you a tier ranking video of every monster romance I have ever read. So I'm going to go through every monster romance I have read, which is a lot. I think it's like 40 books and I'm going to go through and tier rank them. This should be interesting. I've only done one other tier ranking video before and I'm really excited to do this, but I'm doing it a little bit differently. I'm actually using Canva and I thought that would be a lot of fun. So we'll see how this goes. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you're interested in more content like this, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post new videos. Don't forget to click the like button. It really helps my channel grow and comment down below. Let me know if you would answer differently for any of these. I want all the deets on what you guys would rank these books as. If you didn't already know, I've republished my Patreon too and all that information's down below in the description bar. With all that out of the way, let's get into this video. Okay, sorry about the lighting if it gets messed up, but I'll try to keep it like lit up or whatever. I don't know why it keeps on getting messed up, but so the first tier I have here for like the best tier is going to be a monster smash. And that's just like all time favorite monster romance. The second one here is love at first bite. And that is a book that I really, really enjoyed. Um, but it's not like an all time favorite. Um, if you've got it haunted is the next tier. And that's just, you know, like it's got it. It's, it's got it. It's, it's like a totally passable monster romance. I really don't remember much about it. Nothing that really makes me like really have it stick out in my mind and then get your sheet together. That's books. Like I really did not like these did not work for me. They might work for you, but they just did not work for me. Okay. Let's go ahead and start with this first one. This first book here is princess to pleasure slave. This one is like a um, monster romance. It's not, it's not really a monster romance. This is a monster like horror erotica, but I did want to include this on here because there's so many monsters in here. Um, but this one, like I, is not a favorite of me. Um, it's not a favorite of mine, but I will say it's totally not forgettable. <laughs> Um, so the thing about this book is that you can actually go through and like pick your own endings. It's a choose your own adventure. So it's like over a thousand pages, but you can make it last as long as you want. Basically, you can die a million times and restart and choose different options and stuff like that. And she has to go through different tiers of monsters, but it's definitely erotica, but it's also definitely horror. Like there's some really horrific things that happen in here. Like all of the triggers okay all of the triggers please only read that like at your own risk okay it was an experience and i think she has um or actually it's an author duo but they have another book that's kind of like that that i know april read can't remember the name of that one though april if you are watching comment it down below the next one i have here is hollow this is by sam Nascosta. i really enjoyed this one i know it's not everyone's favorite but i feel like a lot of sam Nascosta is not really everyone's cup of tea you just have to get it and get her um and, and that's fine. Like, I get it. It's not everyone's favorite. That's fine. This one actually has two short story. Well, a short story and then a, like a medium length novella in it. Love at First Bite is where I'm putting that one. I really, really like this one. Sorry about the lighting. I don't know why it does that. I really, really like this one. Um, but it like it's not like an all time favorite, but I really, really liked it. So <sighs> let's do this one. Monster Mash Mansion. I read this one recently. This is by Melody Rose and this was OK. It is a why choose monster romance. I would definitely recommend it. I think it's actually a good read for fall. I have snowed in with a demon. Now I have mixed feelings about this one. It, I don't know. It was really good for like a snowed in, like a snowy kind of book. You could tell this was Ellie Eldridge's first book that she published. I'm pretty sure it was because just the, like with the writing you could tell and I want to read more from her so and I do remember this pretty well so I'm gonna say if you got it haunt it but I didn't love it I'm interested in reading more from her and I would recommend this book especially in the winter so next let's talk about a Halloween-y kind of book so this is the very naughty pumpkin patch by Emily Bennis Benice I'm not really sure how to say that one, but this was a book about a pumpkin patch and it was like two friends. And I think the pumpkin patch somehow is some kind of monster that comes alive and there's vines. Um, I don't really remember it. So 
I'm putting it in Frightfully Forgettable. I did not include it on my Halloween recommendation list because I just couldn't remember anything about it. This one I did include on my recommendation list because it's very memorable and I did enjoy it. I really like this one. I'm putting this at Love at First Bite. I really had a good time with that one. Next I have, um, let's see, what is this? Um, the Orc and Her Bride. This is a really good sapphic romance. Definitely recommend, especially if you're looking for sapphic romances, there's just not enough sapphic monster romances uh so i wasn't like a huge fan of the like one of the heroines in here the one that's not an orc so i'm gonna go ahead and put that in if you've got it haunt it wasn't a favorite but i would recommend it especially if you're looking for sapphic monster romance whispers in the deep this is another one that I really enjoyed. I will say love at first bite. It's a merman story and I'm just, they're not my favorite for monster romance, but I thought it was really fun. I had a good time with it. Um, especially good like for like a summery kind of read. Another good summertime read. I couldn't for some reason on Goodreads where I was getting the screenshots get the other cover to this, which made me so sad. This one is really good. I'm going to go ahead and put it in love at first bite. I really had a good time with that one. Okay, so the, for the next one, um, I am going to pick this one. Let's, let's do another sapphic one. Okay, so um, this one is, she came from the swamp and uh, I hate to say it, but once again, I don't know if it's like a love kind of situation, um, but I did really enjoy it. I would say I enjoyed it more than the orc. I think it was like more of like a three and a half star kind of situation, but like I liked it, but I didn't love it. Um, I did like it more than this one though, but I'm not putting these like in order. I'm having trouble with the lighting today. I don't know. It's just one of those days. It's kind of cloudy and stuff. So, okay. So this one I have here is Veridos. And this is like, if you imagine like Ents from Lord of the Rings, that's what this is. And there's just like this scientific, this like scientist or whatever. I love this one. It was really, really fun. That's a fun time. Uh, Primal. Primal is a Why Choose Goldilocks and the Three Bears retelling with lots of liquids. Um, this wasn't it. <laughs> this was not, it was not it, guys. Um, Scream for the Scarecrow. Uh, this one was like a monster smash. Like, yes, it's a short story. Yes, it's like a short time. But for me, like, it was amazingly awesome. And I don't know. I don't know why. Like, listen, it's not winning like a freaking, you know, prize for like best literature, but <laughs> I really liked it. Um, Sweet Berries. This one was good. Um, this is probably one of my, one of my least favorite favorite Sam Nascostas. And I think I just not into Mothman, you know? <laughs> this is another short erotica that is going in Monster Smash. This is also sapphic. It's hunted by the mushroom nymphs. I guess it's why I choose. Um, <laughs> it's bonkers, okay? It's erotica, okay? I don't know what else to say about that one. If you read it and you disagree, please don't judge me. Um, uh, let's see, How I Married a Marble Marquee. This one, um, I really, really liked. I don't know if it's love or like, it's kind of somewhere in between. I guess I could have made another tier, but um, because I've had a couple of those, but I'm gonna put it here for now. Um, I, I liked it, um, but it wasn't like an all-time favorite. Gargoyles Captive. This one by Katie Robert, I just, it happened. I, I don't remember anything about it. Uh, that whole series so far has been such a mixed bag for me. It's, it wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the best in that series so far. Monsters Temptation. I remember I read that one. I don't remember anything about it. I remember I wasn't a huge fan of it. I don't remember anything about it though, to be honest. Missile 
faux. This one is so freaking cute. It's not my favorite Kimberly Lemming, but I did love it. Um, Kimberly Lemming is awesome. Uh, am I including series? Because I don't think I have her other books on here on this list. Oops. Um, I feel like they feel more fantasy romance, but but they are kind of monster romance at the same time. I don't know. There's some crossover, you know? Let's see. Ice Giant. Layla Fay, Ice Giant. Um, Wed to the Ice Giant. I'm sorry. I read two books from this series and this one was good. Um, I liked it. I would definitely recommend it, especially for like snowy season. Um, but it wasn't like an all-time favorite, so. Thieves and Monsters. I read it. I actually was a fan of the first like third of it, but the, the last two thirds were like, mm, I wasn't super big on. So I don't know, I'm kind of like a mixed bag. I do remember it though. So I'm gonna say if you've got it, haunt it. But like, like if I was ranking these, it'd be towards the bottom of if you got it, haunt it. Does that make sense? I guess I need like a million tears. Okay, green little vines. This one's like a witch, but the witch is kind of very like monster-esque. So that's why I included it on here. And this is sapphic too. Um, and this one, I really like, I really liked this one a lot. So I'm putting it in loved. Um, doo -doo -doo. Titan. Titan by, um, Should I get that in front here? Titan by Jillian Graves. This is 100% a monster smash, all time favorite of mine. It's a gargoyle daddy dom and it was honestly monster romance perfection. You'll hear nothing else. Another one that was a total monster smash in my opinion. Um, like I can see, like I know like it was enemies to lovers and I can see like wanting some a little bit more like groveling or something like that from him but I thought he groveled pretty well um this was a monster smash for me I I mean give me a cozy romance with an orc any day okay CMS Gossa really got dirty with this one <laughs> like she really um she did some some she did some things in this one that were kind of terrifying for like, an, this is like an erotica bind up. So there's like multiple short stories in it. Oh, um, I mean, it's, it's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but I'm going to say love it. <laughs> I lo love it for his bite. It's a Christmas themed, like Krampus themed uh, combo of like, I think there's, is it three? short stories or novellas novelettes um and that, they're dark okay so just check the triggers for that one um let's see i've got catherine moon this one book suffered from catherine moon's issue of too many words like she needs to edit her down her books down by half and then we're good um, but the thing is, she's like, she writes well and the concepts are great and they're a lot of fun. They're just too long. So I'm going to say if you've got it, haunt it. This is another Y choose. Really good for the uh, fall season. Um, this one is a Y choose. Um, this is a Y choose and it was probably one of the first Y chooses and first monster romances that I read. And for that reason, like, it's, I mean, I know I really enjoyed it, but I never felt like continuing on. Um, so I'm gonna say love it for spite. Um, here we've got Frostbitten. Why do, I thought before this book was called Jack when I talked about it recently, but um, it's called Frostbitten and this is a Jack Frost book that I really had fun with. Um, I'm gonna say, if you've got to haunt it. It was good. It was fine. Um, the Beast. The Beast by Jennifer Snow. This is in the same, uh, like, series as Primal. 
um, but this one was done well. I loved it, but like, don't judge me. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a lot of liquids. <laughs> if you guys can hear, one of my cats is like incessantly meowing right now. I'm sorry. I think it's Charlie, and I think that he's trying to like get the freaking our automatic feeders to somehow feed him sooner. Um, he's got like another hour and 15 minutes to wait, so I don't know what he thinks he's doing. But um, So this one I have is uh, the Orc from The Office. This is a cute, fun Orc romance that's just like, it's fun. I really, really had a great time with it. I want to say love at first bite. That was just, that was a good time. Um, I've got the Orc by Layla Faye. I really liked this one a lot. Is it Love at First Bite or Monster Smash? I'm going to say Love at First Bite. Um, like definitely top tier Love at First Bite. Like, so I'm having to move some things over, but that's fine. You guys can catch my drift here. Um, so yeah, that was just like a really good time. Layla Faye, can, she can write some fun stuff. They're not all winners, but a lot of them are. Um, this one, no question. Sam Nascosta, Morning Glory Milking Farm. This is a top tier monster smash, all time favorite of mine. Loved Morning Glory Milking Farm. The Ogre's Pet. Um, I'm gonna put it um, here. So I'm going to have to move some stuff over, but, um, it's a very short, like erotic short story. It was fun. Like I, I recommend it, but it's not like an all time favorite. Her Soul to Take by Harley LaRue is definitely like Monster Smash. He is maybe less monsterish, but I would still count him as a monster because he's got some monster features. <laughs> Demon's Horns by Mary Mystery. Um, because, she, because, like, this is probably the most monstrous of the books she's written, but I guess technically, I mean, I guess her other books, maybe they're more shifters. But I guess some people consider certain shifters to be monsters, so I don't know. But this is the only Mary mystery that I have on this list. Um, but Demon's Horns, um, I'm gonna say Love at First Bite. Mary Mysteries never really like failed for me. Oops. So The Dragon's Bride by Katie Robert. This is 100%. This is 100% a Monster Smash all time favorite of mine. No question. Absolutely no question for me. Um, so good. Okay, I've got a few left here. Let's do this one. Katie Robert, Kraken's Sacrifice. I absolutely detested this book the heroine was awful and the writing was too so um which one is the first book in this series this one is devoured by monsters this one is ravaged but i think this is the first one yeah okay this one is love at first bite um it is like kind of like a post-apocalyptic why choose and then i would say the second one was more of like it was fine i definitely have like i haven't continued on um with the series uh there is a final installment in the trilogy and i haven't read it i'm still i still might uh, but i haven't yet uh, but it definitely i don't think i enjoyed it as much as the first book um, if you like the auction trope, check that one out. 
Um, and then is this the last one? I guess so. Okay. Let's see. Green eyed monster by Elsie Winters. Okay. This is like a really cute, cozy orc romance, um, that I loved. So we've got one more for love at first, um, bite here. And yeah, I really love that one, but it's like a novelette, like a short story kind of thing. Um, and I really enjoyed it. So I guess there we have it. That is my tier ranking of all 40 books, all 40 monster romances that I have read. These are all strictly monster. I didn't include like shifter, like books that are more like paranormal. Um, I tried to avoid them unless they were like, there was something that was extra monster-esque about the shifter or witch or vampire or whatnot. Like there's not vampire romance is really in here. So this is like strictly monster. I also had forgotten to preface this with, um, I'm not including obviously alien, um, alien books in here. So I read a lot of alien, but I'm, I kept this as monster focused as I could. So, um, if you want to disagree with me on any of these, please feel free. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you agreed with me on. And if you have any monster romance recommendations for me, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click the like button. Until next time, fellow readers, keep reading and living your best life. You try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade